Hello, basketball fans. Great matchup for you tonight between the Michigan Wolverines and the Penn State Nittany Lions. Number five is brings a much needed presence from his player to the court. He is always determined as an upperclassman not to let his team down when the chips are on the line. The Nittany Lions will have to utilize his skill to the fullest potential, Dick. The Nittany Lions are getting a very tough opponent tonight, Dick. What's the key to victory for them? Hey, they've got to do the simple things out there, and they should be okay. First of all, pound the ball down low for some easy baskets. It'll be a bonus if you can get their big man in foul trouble. Second, play up the boards, baby. Make it a habit. And finally, get out of those shooters. Challenge every shot. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. Picked out of the air. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Can't get the shot to go. He'll regroup the offense. Inside. He goes with a baby hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Shows patience waiting for the reset. Got the high. Basket's good and the foul. That's a big play. He was there when they needed him, baby. He goes to the line for the first time. Count it. Gave it up. The center receives the pass. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. He up fakes. He does the sweet fake shot with a jump hook. Can't get the shot to drop. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Kinsey is feeling great out there right now. Hey, can you blame him, Brad? He's getting it done. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Inside, the power forward handles the feed. Pass down low. There's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. Garner handles the pass. He gets it to go. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. Arm and foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. He keeps the dribble as they reset. The shot receives the ball, gets it to go. The dribble gives it up. There they come with a double team to stop it. Gets it back out. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. He unloads way off target. Comes way out court, and they'll have another chance. He pump fakes. This just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. <laughs> Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. There's a double team waiting there. Robs him of the ball. 
Diggy's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Up and inside. They work it around the perimeter. Working it around the perimeter. Trying to pack it inside. He shoots. Drains it. Fed the low block. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Perfectly executed. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block with the block. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Dump it inside. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Intercepted. Pushes it up. Both teams are looking to get something going here. There's a high percentage shot. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. They move it into the front court. Stolen away. gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. They just can't seem to miss. They've had a serious stroke with their shooting, Brad. On the outside. Jumps into the defender. Michigan are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. The ball goes out of play. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got a good help side. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Gave it up. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. For two, they are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. Good job defensively. They just won't get many openings. Pressure in the basketball. Scorches the net. Jumps in. Great play to take that to the basket. Up fake. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. the perimeter 
on the dribble gives it up he shoots from right of the circle there was no doubt about that one look at that spacing and he'll kick it back outside tries for two he hits it they work the perimeter the skip pass is picked off they work it around the perimeter and has it rejected defense did a great job with the block shot Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Looking for a good shot from the top of the key, off the rim, and no good. The Big Ten, are they still a powerhouse conference, Dick? It's still a good conference, Brad. Not like the Big Ten teams in the 80s, though. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. They look like they're having a blast. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Both teams are looking to get something going here. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Up and inside. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. For you. Gave it up. Pump fakes. Double team now. Matt Angle. He fires from long range. Sinks it. <laughs> With a little baby hook. Can't get the shot to drop. Moving it around the perimeter. He fires away, way off target. Looking for a good shot. On the dribble, gives it up. A whistle and a foul. Coach not happy in the sideline. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Here's a flash from the high post. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. All right, let's check in. Third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad and Dick, the coaching staff told me before the game, this is the one guy they need to get going quickly and early. They said when he gets hot, his entire team will follow suit, and they'll feel good about having the game in hand. All right, thanks, Aaron. So forget about it. And then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Great elevator man, man. That's the elevator guy. What a high riser. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in trouble for position. You can drive, shoot. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. We thought this game would be a sellout, Dick, and it's not. I tell you, a lot of empty seats here. It's only half full. High post flashes for the ball handler. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. Applying lots of pressure, Brad, and looking for the steal as well. Entry pass in the paint. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Tries for two. And he missed. They 
working around the perimeter. On the outside. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> Pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. On the outside, fakes the shot. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. <laughs> Tries to get the D to bite. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. He shoots from downtown. He kept the ball on the floor and waited for his teammate to set that screen for the sweet jumper. Boy, that was beautiful. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. They need to get him. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. The ball goes out of bounds. He wants a three. That's an ill-advised shot. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. Absolute mayhem. This place will be in disarray, Dick, if they can get a stop. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. And in and out. On the dribble, gives it up. There's the fake. And he'll kick it back outside. From the top of the key, Penn State are doing a nice job of putting a solid run together. Yeah, they're really starting to put that offense. Fakes a jumper. He makes a nice shot fake. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Gave it up. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Oh, clinical drop step. I tell you, clinic 101 on how to utilize the drop step from the low post. This is college basketball at its best, Dick. It's electrifying in here. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc, looking for the old basket's good, and he got a little charity for his effort. Hey, he did a good job of keeping himself under control despite the foul. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. Free throw is good. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. 
And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? On the dribble. Gives it up. away goes gave it up he's got an open look for the shot from three-point range that was nice let's see that up close There's the trap. He takes it away. Here we go on the break. Ooh, look at the shot block. They got some contact. Nice hops. Picks off the lazy pass. They work the perimeter. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. Okay, tried to make the spectacular play, and now he's embarrassed. I think that's why college basketball has the following it does, Dick. People from all over town and throughout the campus come and enjoy themselves at these games. Wow, the energy is unbelievable in here. Moving it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. On the inside for the bucket. That comes off. Might have been some contact on the shot. Way off target. Shot clock is dead. Look at that spacing. Entry pass. And he hit the deuce and the foul is called. Nice job of absorbing the foul and keeping his focus. He goes to the line. Got it from the free throw line. Gave it up. There's a double team. Up. Easy one. And the ball goes out of play. Dick, about a medium-sized crowd tonight. I'll tell you one thing. You don't get a big edge as a home team. He shoots from left of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Time, the Wolverines are behind by seven. It's been a tight battle so far, Dick. Do you have a highlight of the half in your book? Well, the trifecta like we see here was and will be a part of the story of this game. We'll have to keep an eye on which team gets it going from out there in the second half. The teams are just about ready to start the second half, Dick. Let's see how this one unfolds. Penn State found themselves shooting very well, Dick, in that first half. Hey, that's a true sign of a well-coached team and a mature team. And we don't see too many mature teams. They're not mature like you, Mr. Nestle. <laughs> Our focus player update, Dick Vitale, going into the second half. And what does he need to do, you think? I think you're going to set some screens for him, a little double screens. He's a great shooter, but he's not getting the opportunity. I think his teammates have to screen for him. On the dribble, gives it up, using his size with a power move. Oh, what a power goal. Jump stop, takes the ball to the goal, strong. There's the screen up on top. Stolen away. And the ball goes out of bounds. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. 
How can they as coaches get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent or offensively can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. This is what you're supposed to do down low. Go up strong. I tell you, that was great post play. Clinic 101 and how to explode to the goal. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. We're going to move it around the perimeter. And the fans here are loving the action. The Rockets fans are going nuts. They're going bananas, Brad. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. High post flashes for the opportunity. On the inside, looking for the foul. Guard, 4 2. Is a three. Got it. In the paint. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. Dump it inside. High post flashes. Jumped in front to take it away. Gave it up. High post flasher is open. For two, perfectly executed. How do you keep the man sealed on that double team, Dick? Not like that, Brad. They really got to be active. Active hands, active feet. Strips the ball. Puts it up, looking for contact. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? He tries to knock down the three. He drains it. Up and inside! That was a great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane, anticipating really well. Let's watch the move as he works his man and out a fadeaway jumper. They work it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. The ball goes out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover. Dick. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Trying to draw some contact. He buries it. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. On the dribble, gives it up. There they come with a double team to stop it. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Takes away the pass. I'll tell you one thing, you don't get a big edge as a home team. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to go. He's got a high post flasher. 
His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Transition opportunity coming up. He gets the bucket. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. They're rocking right now. My goodness. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. And they get the turnover. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Takes the pass in the paint. Very soft defensively, no pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Fouled him. So he'll get an opportunity to change the scoreboard again from the free throw line. Well, he created the foul opportunity. Hits the second shot. Gets the third. He intercepts it. Looking for a good shot. Gave it up on the inside. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. Look at this, Mr. Nestler. He has a little something for the opposition. That, to me, is a no-no. He'll visit the charity strike. He hits it. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. They'll work it around the arc. There's a double team waiting there. Perfectly executed. They're working around the perimeter. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Dump it inside. College basketball is special to me for that reason right there, Nick. The man is off the charts, Brad. On the outside. They work it around the perimeter. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Looking for a good shot. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, and the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. High post player flashing. Definitely a foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I'll tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. On the dribble, gives it up. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Gave it up. Picked off. It's not uncommon to have a few high risers on your team these days. The game has definitely changed in that regard. On the dribble, gives it up. Steals a pass. 
Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Puts it up. He gets the shot to fall. That's a 7-0 run. Double team now, bad angle. Good job defensively. The athleticism in some of these kids, Brad, I'll tell you, it's incredible. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Gave it up for the bucket. They still don't score. Stolen away. Moving it around the perimeter. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Second chance coming up. He tries the three ball. Nice shot. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Gets it to fall. Another turnover. And we're not talking apple turnovers either. Way out on top, controlling the ball. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Man, he lured the defender into the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet J. The student section is all rallied up, and they are ready to battle. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. Great defensive play, anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind. The layup's good, and one, Dick. Hey, that's good concentration, taking the ball hard to the hoop, knowing that someone's going to hack you. To the line. Makes it. Takes the pass in the paint. Here's a double team. And a momentary look from three-point land. Trying to draw the foul. Goes in. Working it around the perimeter. Fronts in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Turnover City, that will always really negate any offense. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Count it and the foul. That's how he likes it, baby. Michigan are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Dick, it's time for our focus player update. What have you noticed here in the second half? Yeah, really, he's not contributing like they expected. Hey, we made the guy a focus player. He's a focus player for the wrong reason right now. Up and inside. Run him right into the screen again. What did I say? Great play to take that to the basket. two it's good this is an old-fashioned stomping these shots are falling from everywhere on the dribble gives it up 
Picked out of the air. Now the turnaround jumper. And in and out. Looking for a good shot. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. <laughs> Look at that spacing. Leans in, gets it to go. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Takes away the pass. They'll work it around the arc. The small forward takes the feed. The land. for three. He gets it to fall. <laughs> Gave it up. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Set that screen away. From way outside. Everything they throw up keeps hitting the target. NBN, nothing but nylon. Hey, this crowd will be ecstatic if they can get a basket. They work it around the perimeter. The center receives the pass for two. I tell you, uses the ball really well, too. In terms of putting it to the jack, turns, spins. He's got every move in the book. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Oh, Mr. Nestler, there's no need for that extracurricular stuff. I agree, but that was a great play. Now it seems as though his emotions are getting the best of him. Great defense. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Now they work it around the perimeter. They work the perimeter. He takes the three. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. I'm sorry, Brad, but this young fella seems to be their only hope at the moment. Up and inside. He shoots from the top of the circle. He shows the sweet touch from three-point land. The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. Is it Brad? Welch receives the ball. He makes the shot. Looking for a good shot. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. On the outside, 
Welch handles the pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Good defensive stance there against the spin. Well, the key is to beat him to bot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. He pulls it down. Gave it up. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. His hip, and I think he holds his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. On the outside, Chase handles the feed. Trying to come up with a steal. They do. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. The small forward takes the pass with a rejection. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, no. <laughs> He's having fun with the opponent's dick. He sure is, but he better make sure that he doesn't cross the line. On the dribble, gives it up. Ten on the shot clock. Looking for a good shot. They come with a double team to stop it. Pulls the trigger. He shows the sweet touch. Dick, six-point lead here. They have to keep applying the pressure if they want to win this one, Brad. Timeout. They want to talk it over right here. And with that timeout, we go to the third member of our broadcast team, Aaron. Brad and Dick with limited time remaining. The coaches will have to figure out their offensive and defensive strategies for the next few possessions. What they will discuss or fail to discuss during this timeout could be the difference, guys. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. They might try and surprise the opposition with a little change here, Dick. That might not be a bad idea. Had a guy in the post but elected to reverse the ball. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you've got to get help because you've got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Gave it up. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Steals the pass. Working it around the perimeter. The center with the ball for the deuce. Off and no good. The shooting guard gets the ball. They work it around the perimeter. There's the trap. And the ball goes out of bounds. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. Well, Dick, it looks like they're going to spend a little bit of time fouling right here. Now it's matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to be able to get to that winner's circle. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Well, Mr. Vital, let's take a look at our backcourt production. Hey, I'll tell you one thing, Brad. You look at the stats, you want to find out if your backcourt is playing well. Well, you want to ensure that your guards keep the number of turnovers down. That's a must. Reduce turnovers. So many games are won and lost by teams turning the ball over. Turnovers missed opportunities happen, baby, when you turn the rock over. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. He is going to the line. Up and in. Gets the second. 
but they really need a score here to turn this into a two possession game. Time out, I'd expect we're going to see more focused play on both sides. One would assume so. He throws it up from downtown. Foul them early and give your team a chance. And yet another foul. There's a turnover situation for the hat pick. I'll tell you, the lower the number, the better off your team will be. With too many turnovers, the likelihood of you playing in a game at the end drops significantly. Makes the front end of the one and one. Hits his second. They need to score here to turn this into a one possession game. decided to go in another direction with things right here, Dick. It? it wouldn't kill them to get a little diversity in their play right now. He shoots from the top of the key. He nails the bucket. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. At the foul line. Get they're making good use of free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Makes the second shot. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vitale. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Let's get back to the action. From way downtown, he drains it. Dick, we look now that the game is over at our focus player, and I don't know if it was the defensive focus by the other team, but he didn't have it tonight. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. It's so essential for the star player to really respond. He didn't respond at all in a positive way, and it affected his teammates as well. Penn State wins the game. With two teams like this, you knew the game was going to be close. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.